what I wanted to do, let me close this door real quick, is show you another way of crossing it off. I've got a video out there that shows me crossing off all of these butt joints by hand as I box it and I run the butt joints, how I cross them off by hand. Um, I've got one butt joint here that I missed boxing yesterday. So I'm going to do this one by hand real quick. I'm just going to box this one and, and show you how I do this one by hand real quick. And then, and then I'm going to show you how I do these other ones. If I've got, I said it before, if I've got the time, if I've got the time to, to, to run a 10 box and then walk away and come back the next day and cross it off, uh, I love doing that. Absolutely love doing that because because I can do it this way. The reason I'm doing it here is because I knew the massive amount of corner bead that I ran. There's no way it was going to dry. I'm really close to home and I really don't have anything else to do today. So I thought I'd come in here for an hour or two and cross this off today. So that's what I'm going to do. And I get to do it this way now. I like to take my 10 box. I've scraped this down a little bit, but I like to run it right down the center of the butt joints. And that is so flat. This is so flat now. I can take this and I can run it right down the middle, just like this. And I'm gonna have to cross this off a little bit, but that's no no, it's no big deal. But you see how fast it is? And a lot of times. A lot of times, if I'm doing a house and it comes to be the end of the day and I've ran all of the corner beat and I've spotted all the screws and I, I just don't have the time, I'm not going to have the, the two, three hours it's going to take me to box the entire place out. But I've got an hour or so. Sometimes I will run through and it's warm enough and I know it's going to dry. I will run through and just box the butt joints. That's it. I'll just split all of the butt joints. I won't run any of these. I'll just split the butt joints. Then when I come back the next day, I can, I can coat this seam and I can do the center of the butt joints and it's all crossed off with box. I'm not, I'm, it took away a lot of my hand work. And the, and the work I'm doing is all done with the box. Now, this I didn't even scrape off. I didn't even have to. I mean, I didn't, I'm not going to scrape this one. I, I haven't scraped this. It might leave a little scratch, but it didn't. And what number am I on? I need to put this one on zero. It needs a little bit more mud there. And, uh, and this when you've got a gigantic ceiling with a lot of butt joints, my goodness, this is flat, so flat. And uh, it really works well when I'm able to box the sensors. So, all right, that was all I wanted to show you. So if, if you get a chance and you can box the center of your butt joints, by all means do that. Understand, you see this stuff right here? This is all wet still. But when I come back here to skim this on Monday, I am going to take my ball box right down the middle here of all of these. And I'm going to box right down the middle of these. Then I just have to skim the edges. That's all I have to do. It makes it way quicker. This is seven inches, so the 10 box is too big. I don't want to mess up the blade. I do have a small box I could probably box these out with, but I'm not going to bother. This is just a you know, my 10 inch knife is going to have no problems coping these out, so I'm not going to have a problem coping these out. But with those, I'll box them. All right, you guys have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.